Imagine a world where colossal creatures ruled the planet, their footprints carving the primordial landscape and their roars echoing through the valleys. Now, picture this world being abruptly silenced, a mystery as profound as the dinosaurs' very existence. Join us on a journey through the mysteries of the extinction of these majestic beings as we unravel the cataclysm that transformed the world 66 million years ago. From the devastating impact of an asteroid to fierce volcanic activity, climate changes, and the collapse of ecosystems, we'll explore how these relentless forces led to the end of an era. Get ready for a fascinating expedition that will unveil secrets and new discoveries about one of the most dramatic events in Earth's history. But before we begin, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive new episodes. Around 66 million years ago, Earth witnessed an incredible event that irreversibly altered the course of life on the planet. This phenomenon, known as the Cretaceous Paleogene, KPG, extinction, is one of the most dramatic episodes in geological history, resulting in the extinction of approximately 75% of terrestrial and marine species. Among the vanished were the iconic dinosaurs, immense creatures that dominated the planet for over 160 million years. This event marked the end of the Cretaceous period and ushered in the Paleogene period. To appreciate the magnitude of this event, visualize the world at that time. The Cretaceous was a vibrant planet, filled with lush tropical forests, vast deserts, and densely populated oceans. Dinosaurs were the undisputed rulers of the Earth. Among them were colossal herbivores like Triceratops and Brachiosaurus, and fierce predators like Tyrannosaurus rex, which hunted with sharp claws and teeth. Besides terrestrial dinosaurs, the world was home to pterosaurs soaring through the skies, large marine reptiles, and a rich biodiversity of plants, invertebrates, and small creatures forming complex ecosystems. Then, abruptly and almost inconceivably, much of this life was eradicated. In a geological blink, most forms of life disappeared. Non-avian dinosaurs, as well as many other beings, including marine reptiles and specific plants, were completely wiped out. The planet became a desolate and silent place. But what could have caused such devastating destruction? This is the enigma we are going to explore. Among the various theories about what caused this catastrophic event, the most prominent is the asteroid impact theory. Evidence suggests that a gigantic asteroid, about 10 to 15 kilometers in diameter, collided with Earth in the area we now know as the Yucatan Peninsula, Mexico. The impact would have released colossal energy, equivalent to billions of atomic bombs, launching a massive cloud of dust and debris into the atmosphere. This cloud would have blocked sunlight, plunging the planet into darkness and causing a drastic drop in global temperatures, a phenomenon known as impact winter, with devastating effects on ecosystems. However, this is not the only hypothesis in play. Another relevant theory points to the enormous volcanic eruptions in the region of the Deccan Traps in India. These eruptions released large amounts of toxic gases, such as sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide, into the atmosphere. This process caused a dual effect, first, global cooling due to particles blocking sunlight, followed by global warming from the accumulation of greenhouse gases. Volcanism also altered ocean chemistry, affecting marine life. Other theories are also considered. Gradual changes in sea levels, for instance, were observed at the end of the Cretaceous. Tectonic plate movements caused the oceans to recede, altering coastal zones and affecting dinosaur habitats. This habitat loss may have weakened these populations, making them more vulnerable to other catastrophic events. It is important to remember that the extinction did not only affect dinosaurs. Approximately 75% of life forms were eliminated, including marine reptiles, invertebrates, plants, and microscopic organisms crucial to the food chain. Earth underwent a brutal transformation, but not everything was completely destroyed. Some forms of life, such as small mammals, birds, descendants of dinosaurs, and certain types of plants, survived and thrived in the new post-catastrophe environment. Over time, new scientific discoveries have helped shed light on the details of this mass extinction event. 
rock and sediment samples provide clear evidence of an asteroid impact. However, many questions remain unanswered. Was the asteroid impact the sole cause of the extinction? Or was it a combination of factors, such as volcanism and climate changes? And how did some forms of life manage to survive when others were obliterated? These questions continue to challenge scientists, and each new discovery adds a piece to the complex puzzle of extinction. Although complete answers are still not available, the KPG event was a decisive milestone in Earth's history. It not only ended the era of dinosaurs but also paved the way for the evolution of mammals and, eventually, the emergence of humans. The extinction of the dinosaurs is one of the greatest mysteries in planetary history, and the search for answers continues. The most widely accepted theory to explain this extinction involves the impact of a colossal asteroid, a discovery that gained prominence in the 1980s with evidence of a catastrophic impact at the Chicxulub Crater on the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. The Chicxulub Crater is one of the most impressive remnants of a colossal event that shook the Earth. Measuring approximately 180 kilometers in diameter, the crater is so vast that it can only be fully understood with modern technology, as part of it is submerged in the Gulf of Mexico and covered by sediments. Its discovery occurred in the 1970s when geophysicists, searching for oil, identified its marks, but it was only years later that scientists recognized the magnitude of its significance. The sediment layer found, rich in iridium, a rare metal on Earth but common in asteroids, and dated to the time of the dinosaur's extinction, was key to linking the crater to the event that wiped out three-quarters of life on the planet. But what made this asteroid trigger such a dramatic transformation? To understand, imagine the scale of this collision. The asteroid that hit Earth was between 10 and 15 kilometers in diameter, comparable in size to a large city. The impact released an unimaginable amount of energy, billions of times greater than that of an atomic bomb like the one dropped on Hiroshima. The result was an explosion of such magnitude that everything in the vicinity was instantly vaporized. The shockwaves and intense heat caused massive fires that spread across entire continents. Vegetation was devastated, and ecosystems were rapidly destroyed. The devastation was not limited to the impact site. Gigantic tsunamis, with waves reaching hundreds of meters in height, swept the coastal regions around the globe. Additionally, an immense amount of vaporized rocks, dust, and gases was launched into the atmosphere. Here, the impact began to show its more enduring effects, the expelled material blocked sunlight, leading to a phenomenon known as impact winter. Without sunlight, global temperatures plummeted. This cooling had terrible consequences. Photosynthesis, crucial for plant survival, was drastically interrupted. With reduced light, plants began to die on a large scale. Without plants, herbivores were left without food, and the extinction spread through the food chain. The large herbivorous dinosaurs, dependent on vast areas of vegetation, were the first to disappear. Without prey, the carnivorous dinosaurs also succumbed. Marine life was severely affected as well, since plankton, essential to oceanic food chains, also depended on sunlight. In addition to blocking sunlight, the impact caused a large release of sulfur dioxide and other gases, leading to temporary ocean acidification. This further harmed marine organisms, such as corals and shellfish, which could not survive in such acidic waters. The combined effect of global cooling, the collapse of food chains, and ocean acidification created an unsustainable situation for life on Earth. This period of climatic chaos lasted for months, perhaps years, and Earth faced extremely harsh conditions for sustaining complex life. Although some smaller life forms, such as small mammals, birds, and certain reptiles, managed to survive, most dinosaurs could not withstand the rapid temperature changes and food shortages. Thus, the asteroid impact is considered one of the main causes of dinosaur extinction. However, science continues to explore how this event unfolded and whether other factors also played a role in the extinction. While the asteroid impact theory is widely accepted, there are hypotheses that intense volcanic activity at the time might have contributed, exacerbating the effects of the impact. One thing is certain, the Chicxulub impact profoundly altered the course of life on Earth. 
ongoing study of this crater and its implications helps us understand how catastrophic events can reshape life on the planet. This event not only ended the age of the dinosaurs but also paved the way for the rise of mammals and, eventually, the emergence of humans. Therefore, the Chicxulub Crater is a powerful reminder of how forces beyond our control can shape the Earth and how life always finds ways to adapt and evolve in the face of adversity. The theory of intense volcanism in the Deccan Traps is one of the most intriguing when discussing dinosaur extinction. While the idea of an asteroid hitting Earth 66 million years ago is widely known, this devastating event may not have been the sole cause of the dinosaurs' disappearance. At the same time, massive volcanic eruptions occurred in the Deccan Traps in India. These eruptions were so monumental that they left significant marks on the planet's geology and may have played a crucial role in ending the age of dinosaurs. The volcanic eruptions in the Deccan Traps span millennia, releasing enormous volumes of lava over a colossal area of approximately 500,000 square kilometers. Imagine almost all of Spain being engulfed by a sea of molten lava. The immense volume of volcanic material not only shaped the region's landscape but also caused a drastic transformation in Earth's atmosphere. In addition to lava, the Deccan Traps volcanoes released vast amounts of gases such as sulfur dioxide, SO2, and carbon dioxide, CO2, into the atmosphere. These gases have a profound impact on Earth's climate and caused a series of catastrophic climatic events. Sulfur dioxide, for example, can form aerosols that reflect sunlight back into space, reducing the amount of light reaching the planet's surface. With decreased sunlight, global temperatures began to plummet, resulting in a phenomenon known as global cooling. This cooling had devastating consequences for Earth's ecosystems. The drop in temperatures caused essential photosynthesizing plants to die, disrupting the entire food chain. Herbivorous dinosaurs, which depended on these plants, suffered severely. Without vegetation, these herbivores began to perish, and with the scarcity of food, carnivorous dinosaurs also faced difficulties as their primary source of sustenance was disappearing. But the impact of the eruptions was not limited to cooling. Besides the initial effect of sulfur dioxide aerosols, the Deccan Traps eruptions also released large amounts of carbon dioxide, a potent greenhouse gas. This gas has the ability to trap heat in the atmosphere and, over time, began to cause a phenomenon opposite to cooling, global warming. The increase in global temperatures led to extreme and adverse climates, making adaptation extremely difficult for many life forms. Thus, after a period of intense cold, the planet began to experience a gradual increase in temperatures, triggering a cycle of environmental chaos. The combined effect of cooling and warming was devastating for life on Earth. Species that survived the intense cold now had to face extreme heat, further complicating their survival. The ecological stress caused by these continuous climate changes severely affected many animal groups, and the already weakened dinosaurs were hit hard. A crucial question then arises, if the Deccan Traps eruptions were so disastrous, why is the asteroid impact still considered the primary cause of dinosaur extinction? The answer may lie in the fact that these two cataclysmic events acted together, amplifying their destructive effects. Scientists believe that the volcanic eruptions were already weakening global ecosystems when the asteroid collided with Earth. The planet was being hit by disasters on multiple fronts. The asteroid impact, which created the Chicxulub crater in Mexico, released a colossal amount of energy, generating tsunamis, wildfires, and launching even more dust and particles into the atmosphere. This intensified the blockage of sunlight, exacerbating global cooling. Additionally, the release of sulfur and CO2 by the volcanoes may have amplified the asteroid's effects. The combination of these disasters may have been the final straw that sealed Earth's fate, already weakened by the volcanic activity. This theory, suggesting a combination of volcanism and asteroid impact, is one of the most accepted by scientists today. While the asteroid impact was a rapid and devastating event, volcanism may have played an equally crucial role by weakening ecosystems before the collision and prolonging climatic changes after the impact. In summary, the volcanic eruptions in the Deccan Traps were a cataclysmic event that profoundly altered Earth's climate, creating adverse conditions for life even before the asteroid impact. 
These eruptions released gases that first caused global cooling and then global warming, resulting in severe climate changes. When the asteroid hit Earth, it may have accelerated this process, leading to the mass extinction that wiped out the dinosaurs and many other forms of life. Therefore, the end of the dinosaurs might not have been an isolated event but a confluence of natural disasters that reshaped the planet, altering the history of life forever. By the end of the Cretaceous period, the world was undergoing significant geological changes that deeply impacted the environment and the living beings of the time, including the dinosaurs. Among these factors was the movement of tectonic plates, which affected sea levels and had major consequences for ecosystems. Tectonic plates, which make up the Earth's crust, are in constant motion. During the Cretaceous, these movements caused the separation and rearrangement of continents. This directly affected the oceans, causing sea levels to rise and fall in different regions of the planet. At that time, sea levels were much higher than today. Vast areas of Earth that are now land were submerged, and extensive coastal plains stretched across the continents we know today. These plains were rich in life, and many dinosaurs, especially herbivores, depended on these coastal ecosystems for food and shelter. Over time, as tectonic plates continued to move, sea levels began to recede. This retreat was caused by the formation of underwater mountain chains and the expansion of the continents, which reduced the space available for the oceans. As a result, areas that were once covered by shallow waters began to emerge, and dinosaurs living in coastal regions lost their habitats. This process was gradual but had devastating consequences for many species. Imagine a planet where colossal dinosaurs inhabited vast forests and swamps stretching as far as the eye could see. As sea levels decreased, these immense coastal forests began to vanish, giving way to a barren and desolate landscape. Without their forests and swamps, dinosaurs not only lost their refuges but also their main sources of sustenance. As the environment changed, the plants that fed the herbivores became scarce or disappeared entirely. Without adequate food, populations of these giants began to gradually shrink. The impact of this change was not limited to herbivores. For carnivores, which depended on a complex food network, the scarcity of prey had devastating effects. These once dominant predators found themselves in fierce competition for food, which may have led to a reduction in their own populations. These changes did not occur instantaneously, they were slow but continuous transformations. Dinosaurs that had evolved to live in dense forests and wet areas suddenly found themselves in dry and open environments for which they were not adapted. This lack of adaptation helped to accelerate their decline. Additionally, the alteration of coastal ecosystems profoundly affected overall biodiversity. Other species, such as marine reptiles and primitive birds, also faced significant challenges. Over time, these changes accumulated, creating a domino effect. Some species were forced to migrate in search of new resources, while others could not survive the new conditions. Here arises an intriguing question, were the dinosaurs already experiencing a decline even before the asteroid impact, which many consider the final blow? Some evidence suggests they were. Several scientists believe that over millions of years, dinosaurs were already undergoing a gradual reduction, driven by changes in sea levels and environmental conditions. The fluctuations in sea levels and the transformation of ecosystems may have placed many dinosaur species under immense ecological stress. With scarce resources and fragmented habitats, these giants were becoming more vulnerable to external factors, such as the asteroid impact that struck Earth 66 million years ago. However, the hypothesis that dinosaurs were already in decline before the asteroid impact is still debated among scientists. Some argue that they continued to thrive until the cataclysmic event, while others believe that environmental changes were already precipitating their extinction. What is clear is that the world was changing significantly, making the environment increasingly hostile to dinosaurs. This gradual transformation process is one of the great mysteries of dinosaur extinction. While the asteroid impact was undoubtedly a catastrophic event, it is possible that dinosaurs were already struggling to survive on a planet that was changing long before this event. Thus, the retreat of coastal areas and habitat loss, driven by changes in sea levels, created a scenario where dinosaurs were weakened. 
when the asteroid finally hit Earth, it might have been just the final blow that triggered an ongoing mass extinction. This suggests that even without the asteroid, dinosaurs might have faced a difficult fate due to Earth's natural transformations. In summary, changes in sea levels and the gradual decline of ecosystems were decisive factors in dinosaur extinction. These titans, who dominated the planet for millions of years, found themselves increasingly vulnerable in a slowly but relentlessly changing world. And so, the age of dinosaurs began to fade. The extinction of these immense beings about 66 million years ago was one of the most striking events in Earth's history, and its repercussions went far beyond the mere elimination of these great reptiles, profoundly shaping biodiversity and radically transforming the planet's ecosystems. When reflecting on the extinction at the end of the Cretaceous, our attention tends to focus on dinosaurs, but they were only part of an even more devastating ecological collapse. Beyond the enormous dinosaurs that walked the Earth, many other groups of organisms, both animal and plant, also vanished. Marine reptiles, such as the formidable mosasaurs, were eradicated. These oceanic colossi could not survive the drastic environmental changes caused by the asteroid impact. Similarly, pterosaurs, the flying creatures of that era, also disappeared completely. These incredible beings, who dominated the skies millions of years ago, could not adapt to the new and severe environmental conditions. Plants were severely impacted. The asteroid's impact ejected a colossal amount of dust and particles into the atmosphere, obscuring sunlight and causing a sharp drop in global temperatures. Without sunlight, photosynthesis was severely disrupted, leading to the death of many plant species. This directly affected herbivores that depended on these plants for food, creating a chain reaction that decimated herbivorous animal populations. With the drastic reduction of plants and herbivores, predators were also affected. This chain collapse caused the extinction or drastic reduction of many invertebrates, such as insects and other small animals. However, despite the scene of massive destruction, some forms of life managed to survive. Certain species were able to endure this catastrophic event due to characteristics that made them more adaptable to extreme environmental changes. Among the survivors were the ancestors of modern birds. Avian dinosaurs, which are close relatives of today's birds, managed to survive this mass extinction event. One possible explanation is that, being smaller and having more varied diets, they had a better chance of finding food in such a hostile environment. Additionally, the ability to fly may have allowed them to move to less affected areas and find refuge in safer locations. Mammals also managed to survive. During the age of dinosaurs, they were mostly small, nocturnal creatures living discreetly, away from the giant predators. This lifestyle, based on hiding and consuming a wide range of resources, such as insects and small animals, may have been crucial for their survival. Unlike the large dinosaurs, which required substantial amounts of food and were more vulnerable to environmental changes, mammals were more flexible in their dietary and behavioral habits. With the extinction of dinosaurs and many other competitors, mammals had the chance to thrive in a nearly empty world, free of the former rulers. Over time, mammals began to diversify and occupy the ecological niches left by the extinct dinosaurs. This marked the beginning of a new era known as the Cenozoic, or Age of Mammals. Without dinosaurs to compete with, mammals rapidly evolved, adapting to a wide variety of environments and becoming the new rulers of the planet. This diversification included the emergence of large herbivores, predators, marine mammals, and eventually primates, who would give rise to humans. The recovery after the Great Extinction was a painfully slow process, taking millions of years for Earth to regain its rich diversity of life. During this long period of restoration, flora, fauna, and ecosystems were reshaped in entirely new ways. Forests, devastated by the catastrophe, began to slowly reconstitute, with new plant species replacing the extinct ones. Insects and small invertebrates that survived began to diversify and fill new ecological niches. With the disappearance of the feared giant reptiles, birds and mammals occupied the skies and the land, respectively. This long process of rebirth is a striking example of life's ability to adapt and evolve even after extreme calamities. 
However, the extinction of dinosaurs and various other species reveals the vulnerability of ecosystems to abrupt changes. The Chicxulub asteroid impact is a stark reminder that life on Earth depends on a fragile balance, and breaking this balance can result in devastating consequences. Today, we understand that this extinction paved the way for the dominance of mammals and, eventually, the rise of humans. Without this catastrophe, dinosaurs might still be the sovereigns of the planet, and Earth's history could have taken a completely different course. Although tragic for the species that disappeared, the extinction of the dinosaurs was a pivotal point in the trajectory of our planet. If you're intrigued about how dinosaur extinction shaped global biodiversity, don't miss the second part of our series. In it, we'll explore recent scientific discoveries and new theories about this devastating event. Discover how modern science is revealing fascinating aspects of the causes of dinosaur extinction and how these new insights might alter our perception of Earth's history. Watch part 2 to continue your fascinating journey through prehistory and the mysteries that still surround the end of the dinosaurs.